Hello, and a hearty welcome to all of our listeners. You're tuned into Melodic Bites, the podcast where we spice up your day with a dash of culture, a pinch of humor, and heaps of interesting connections between food and music. Today, we're embarking on a vibrant journey through Dominican culture, exploring the rhythmic beats of merengue music and the comforting taste of traditional Dominican potato salad. So first off, I do want to say that I know at the end of my last episode, I hinted at an episode on street food and music, and I just want to say that this episode is not that because I got really excited about things that I was learning with merengue music, and I really just wanted to cover that right now. But I will make sure that the next episode is on street food. So hang in there for that episode. Again, sorry, I got a little excited and also just kind of forgot in my excitement that that was going to be the next episode. (laughs) So I hope that you are okay with waiting one more week for that. So welcome back. And yes, we're talking about merengue, the music that moves souls and feet alike. Picture this, a street festival in Santo Domingo, the air vibrating with pulsating rhythms, couples dancing with a fluidity that seems almost second nature. This is merengue, not just a dance or a genre, but the very pulse of the island. Let's start at the beginning. Merengue's roots are as intricate as its rhythms, born from a melting pot of African, Spanish, and indigenous Taino influences. It emerged in the 19th century, but the exact origin story is a tapestry of folklore and historical snippets. Some say it began as a peasant dance in rural areas, while others believe it was born in the salons of the urban elite. Regardless of its birthplace, merengue has danced its way through every stratum of Dominican society. Now, the music. The classic merengue sound is a blend of African drum beats, the Spanish guitar, and the indigenous marimba. But the real star is the accordion, brought over by European settlers. This fusion creates a rhythm that's fast, furious, and utterly infectious. Traditional merengue was simpler, focusing on the relationship between the voice and the accordion. Over time, it evolved, incorporating brass instruments, piano, and even electronic sounds, reflecting the changes in Dominican society itself. As we dive into the artists who shaped merengue, let's talk about the legends. Francisco Ushoa, known for his fast-paced accordion-driven style, brought merengue to the international stage. Then there's Juan Luis Guerra, who infused merengue with poetic lyrics and social commentary, transforming it into a vehicle for storytelling and cultural reflection. We can't forget about Millie Quesada, the queen of merengue, whose powerful voice and charismatic performances have captivated audiences worldwide. And if I butchered those names, I am extremely sorry. Merengue is not just music, it's a celebration of life. It's played at every significant event from weddings to street parties, creating a sense of community and joy. But it's also been a voice for the people. During the Trujillo dictatorship, merengue songs were used as propaganda tools. Post-dictatorship, they became expressions of freedom and resistance, a testament to the resilience of the Dominican spirit. As we groove to these beats, let's not forget merengue's global influence. It's shaped Latin music and dance worldwide, its rhythms resonating in the hearts of people across continents. Merengue classes are now a staple in dance studios from Tokyo to Berlin, which is a testament to its universal appeal. To sum up, merengue is the rhythm of the Dominican soul, a vibrant thread in the fabric of Caribbean culture. Its evolution mirrors the country's history and its infectious beat continues to captivate and unite people around the globe. So next time you hear a merengue track, let your body feel the beat and remember, you are experiencing a piece of Dominican history. So after swinging to the vibrant beats of merengue, it's time to savor another integral aspect of Dominican culture. It's cuisine. And what better way to start than a classic dish that graces every Dominican table, the traditional Dominican potato salad, or as it's fondly known, ensalada rusa. This dish is a flavorful mosaic in the island's history and its people love for hearty, comforting food. Picture this, a kitchen brimming with the scents of boiled potatoes and vegetables, the sound of a knife rhythmically chopping, and the warmth of shared stories. The Dominican potato salad isn't just a side dish, but it's a ritual that brings families together. So what goes into this dish? At its heart are potatoes, obviously, boiled until tender yet firm. They're the canvas for the vibrant splashes of color and texture added next, which are those carrots for a hint of sweetness, peas for freshness, and sometimes beets for a touch of earthiness and a splash of color. All these are mixed with the creamy richness of mayonnaise, the tang of apple cider vinegar, and the subtle punch of salt and pepper. 
Each family adds its twist, adding some hard-boiled eggs, others a hint of mustard or a sprinkle of fresh herbs. But it's not just about the ingredients, it's the way that it's prepared. In Dominican homes, making the potato salad is a communal activity, which is a chance to gather, chat, and laugh. It's common to see multiple generations in the kitchen, each contributing to the dish, sharing stories of past gatherings and passing down culinary traditions. The cultural significance of this simple, delicious salad cannot be overstated. It's a staple for celebrations, be it Christmas, Easter, or a Sunday family gathering. Its presence on the table symbolizes unity, a shared heritage, and the joy of being together. It's a reminder that in Dominican culture, food is more than sustenance. It's a language of love, community, and history. Interestingly, the Ensalada Rusa is not unique to the Dominican Republic. Variations of this salad are found across Europe, Latin America, and each region adds its own local flavors. But in the Dominican version, there's a unique blend of influences reflecting the island's diverse cultural heritage, which is a testament to the melting pot that is the Caribbean. As we talk about this dish, let's not forget its evolution. From humble beginnings, the Dominican potato salad has journeyed through time, adapting to changes in society and available ingredients. Today, it sounds as a proud representation of Dominican cuisine, loved by both locals and visitors alike. In essence, the salad is a symbol. It represents the blending of cultures, the importance of family, and the joy of shared meals. It's a testament to the Dominican spirit that is resilient, vibrant, and ever welcoming. Now, let's weave these experiences together, exploring the intertwining of melodies and meals in Dominican culture. In the Dominican Republic, music and food are not separate entities, they're strands of the same cultural fabric. Merengue, with its infectious beats, often sets the backdrop for family gatherings and celebrations where dishes like the Dominican potato salad are savored. There's a beautiful synchrony here. The rhythm of the music complements the communal act of cooking and eating, each enhancing the experience of the other. Think about it. Preparing a meal can be akin to composing a song. Each ingredient in the potato salad, like notes in a merengue track, plays a crucial role. When combined, they create a harmony of flavors, much like how the accordion, gourd, and tambora come together in a merengue, creating a melody that resonates with the soul. This is the art of Dominican cooking. It's vibrant, it's communal, and it's rhythmic. So picture a Dominican kitchen during a family gathering. As the potato salad is being prepared, someone starts humming a merengue tune, and before you know it, the kitchen transforms into a dance floor. Peeling potatoes or chopping carrots, every moment becomes a dance step. It's a celebration and an expression of joy and togetherness, much like the merengue itself. This fusion of food and music also reflects in the island's festivals. At any given street fiesta, you'll find people dancing to merengue with street vendors serving traditional dishes like our beloved potato salad. It's a sensory feast. The ears delight in the music, the taste buds revel in the flavors, and the eyes soak in the vibrant colors of the street scenes. But the connection goes deeper. Both merengue and Dominican cuisine have played pivotal roles in shaping the global perception of the Dominican Republic. Merengue music has crossed borders, introducing the world to rhythms of the island, while Dominican cuisine, with its rich flavors and hearty dishes, has found its way into the hearts of food enthusiasts worldwide. So as we reflect on today's journey, it becomes clear, understanding Dominican culture requires an appreciation of how its music and cuisine intertwine. Their expressions of the island's history, its people's spirit, and their unwavering sense of community. They tell stories of joy and hardship, celebration and resilience, and above all, the unbreakable bond of a people united by their cultural heritage. So as we wrap up today's episode, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of Dominican culture. It's a world where rhythms and recipes come together, creating a tapestry rich in history and vibrant in spirit. And if you want to learn more about this, I have a couple of things on my blog at MelodicEats.com that you can check out. One is a blog post that I have called The Best Merengue Songs, Most Popular Songs of All Time. So if you want to learn more about merengue and listen to some of these big classics, then head over to the blog to read that. And then I also do have this potato salad recipe on the blog as well with a music pairing that is in the merengue genre. So go ahead and go check it out. And if you want to make the potato salad, listen to that tune while you make it and see why I chose that song to pair with that dish. So thank you for joining me on this delightful journey through the heart of the Dominican Republic. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the connections between the lively beats of merengue and the comforting flavors of Dominican cuisine. So thank you listeners for joining in and until next bite, keep your beats tasty and your eats in tune.